So I've been contemplating whether or not to upload this video because once you see it, you're gonna wanna go fishing here. And this is a little lake and I'm not sure if it can handle all that fishing pressure. So after much contemplation, I decided I'm gonna upload the video and show everyone. Just if you go to this lake, I please ask, you know, practice catch and release. And if you do keep some, try to keep more than medium sized ones and let those big ones go. All right, I'll get off my soapbox here and let you see the show. This is White Ash Lake, located in Polk County, Wisconsin, right next to a more popular Balsam Lake. For more info on this and other lakes we fish, visit GoMidwestFishing.com. Our goal is to provide you with the best lake info on the web. We are not professional fishermen, just people who love to fish, and we are so glad you're here. My name's Randy, welcome to Go Midwest Fishing. Runs. So I don't think the filter's filled up yet, so we'll have to pump it as it runs. Three feet deep. Not even a spark. I was going to bring my, I forgot to bring my tools. Oh. Well, you're running on a lake. There's not much up here. I'm going to just slowly go up, make sure I'm not going to hit anything, and then race it back to see if it goes full power. How deep is it? Seven feet? I thought that hole was like somewhere over here. Right over here? I think. All right, we'll zoom her back quick and see if uh, she runs good. Look at the swan over there. start? I don't know. Just so want to pick an end and start that end and work your way back? Yeah. File might be harmful. Download anyway. Oh, look there. Oh, he got one. Nice yeah. bluegill. That guy. Right off the landing here. Heard you found a huge bluegill. I just got a brand new phone and realized that I don't have the app to fly the drone, so I'm trying to get that worked out. That's Meanwhile, Reggie's one. catching some big monsters. First one I did was just going to recast it here. We need, to, we need a picture of that. Hold on. Nice one. Well, it is mid-May. It's just a few days past Minnesota fishing opener, and this is the first time we're getting the boat out. We're on White Ash Lake. This was a viewer suggestion, so thanks to Braden German, he suggested us go to White Ash here. It's just, it's a really small lake. There's like two kind of lakes connected together in the middle. I believe it was the Apple River that cuts right through the middle. So we're going to see if we're going to fish the bottom half and then see if we can't get to the top half through that little channel there. I'm not sure how deep it is. All right, Reggie and I got here and there was a big old storm blowing through. So now the storm is gone and it's just that dead calm, just 
beautiful night. The birds are chirping and uh, this lake is really shallow. We found maybe what seven to nine feet over there. Otherwise it's all currently at about four or five feet. So this whole lake is really shallow and we know there's bluegills in here obviously. And Reggie looked up, said there should be some northern, some bass, probably some smaller fish in here, but we're gonna kind of just go around the whole lake and check it out. Yeah, you said yeah. this was the Minnesota opener. Oh shoot. <laughs> To edit, <laughs> edit that <laughs> little thing that says Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. You just mentioned that we are in Wisconsin, not Minnesota. Even though it is a few days past the Minnesota opener, we are in Wisconsin. Wisconsin opened a week earlier than Minnesota did. So first time out in Wisconsin this year. Usually you don't know where you're at anyways. I don't. You're here to make me not look stupid. <laughs> I'll laugh at you first, then tell you. Yeah. Oh man, this is doing some old guy fishing here. Yeah. Sitting in my chair. You and your little bobber and your chair. <laughs> yep. I'm kind of surprised that bluegill caught was so huge. Oh, right away. Look at that. <laughs> first cast. Nice. Hit the water about two seconds and got one on. Nice bluegills. Look at that. There's a beauty. I've been using these little number six circle hooks too, and they've been working really good. He caught right in the side of the mouth. That way you don't, ooh, he's a peer. There you go. Ooh, there's one. All right. Yeah, they're pretty healthy in here. Too bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. got me. He bite you? <laughs> Only showing three feet here. Yeah. I'm probably yeah. laying on bottom, yeah. They got like a foot. Really dark stained water and it's shallow and you can't see the bottom at all. It's still early, so I'm assuming there gets to be a lot of weeds in here, but I don't see a whole lot yet. Looks kind of gravelly, sandy bottom with a few sticks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There it is. Go. Yeah. Crappie. Check it out. Nice crappie. Look at it. I love that hook just right in the top lip. Very nice. There we go. Look at that. All uh, right. Right. You got a crappie too. We just rammed himself into the boat. <laughs> nice. You got a little one. Oh, another crappie. Not too bad. Medium sized crappie, I'd say. You mm. little pumpkin seed. No? Yeah. Ow. No, you bit him. There you go. <laughs> They're all pretty good size though. Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta threaten to turn off the camera and then uh, you know, pay attention <laughs> or just don't look at your bait. Oh, they're fatty, nice bluegill. Ah, these are all good. These are the kind my dad kills me when I throw them back. Look at that. Bye bye. <laughs> He's cussing at me right now. What in the what world is here? that? Perch? <laughs> he caught a perch, a little perch, tiny one, too. Jeez. Now we're getting back into the fish we usually yeah. take. Yeah, <laughs> now it's feeling better like normal. <laughs> All right, so bluegill, crappie, and perch. I've not seen a bass yet or a northern. There we go. All right. Look at that big guy. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Holy cow, huge bluegill. Look at how fat that thing you is. See this thing. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. Nice. Look at that monster. There you go. Beauty. There you go. You can see that big yellow belly on him. <laughs> oh, I got one on. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna have to wait, buddy. All right. Now we'll attend to your needs. Oh, it feels like a decent one. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
kind of like Reggie's inside that guy. Oh God, yeah. There you go, <laughs> big fatty. All right, you can get to go free. Oh, got hat. I got one. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah. Bluegill. Oh, big one too. Nice one. Holy cow! Look at that pig. <laughs> Caught him on the rapple. <laughs> God, these things are just monsters. <laughs> God, he's zipping everywhere. Yeah, it's a nice one. God, another, yeah. Another fat one. Yeah, did you see like the biggest boogers we've ever caught? Like swirled my yeah. bait. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, jeez. You gonna hit me with your bait? Just again? about. Oh, look at that. Pretty. You and your big fat pumpkin seeds. Oh my God, look, look at, at that my... big orange one. Look how bright yeah. that thing is. Dang, look at that. You are just bright orange. That is crazy. Oh, 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 geez. I think I got him on. Yep, I think I got him. Oh, he's so fat. Skipper fish. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish right there you got. This one ain't bad either. So far, I'm really liking this lake. Thanks to Braden again for suggesting it. I wasn't sure what we'd find here, it's so shallow. Did you bring? I got blue and white Gatorade, orange crush, and Coors. We got another pumpkin seed. Oh yeah, let's see it. Oh, bring it. Yep. Oh, oh, got another one on. <clears throat> just trying to sit down and have a beer, and these darn fish just keep bugging me. What kind of beer you got? Coors. You like ah. Coors? I might have a course. Yeah. That's why I got them, because I know you like them. Kind of got to take a leak. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we're going to see what it looks like under here. So a little more weeds. Look at maybe. There we go. A little shallow in here. It's only like two feet deep. But a little weed growth, maybe. You never know, maybe they're out here hanging in the... Shallow stuff, get warm. He said the whole lake's about five feet deep, so you can fish just about anywhere here, I think, and probably catch something. There you go. Good shot of it. All right, we're nearing the top of that first lake right here. It's kind of a nice little bay in here. We're expecting maybe this is where the northern bass might be hanging out. Still no sign of any game fish though, so I'm gonna keep trying this little rapala here and hopefully we catch something a little bigger. I mean, the bluegills have been huge, but I wanna catch some game fish too. Apparently I'm getting one back here. Something's happening, nope, it's a fish. Yeah. You were just hanging on there, just dragging along probably. You gotta make a bigger fuss so I know you're on there. What is Dog or something? I don't know what that like, was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, the path to the other lake goes right through back over there and around. And from this angle, it looks like we can't get there. But I looked at the drone footage. It looks like there might be a possible path if we stay along the edge there, go around. So we're gonna we're gonna attempt to get to that north lake. I'm not sure if we're gonna be successful, but what the heck? Let's try it anyway. Did you raise up the motor at all? I did. <laughs> digging in. <laughs> I got 1.4 feet back here. Looks like a clear path just to your right. Chop, chop, chop. Wouldn't be the first time we beached this thing. I don't think we're gonna get through there. This looks pretty shallow. <laughs> it might get better. 
<laughs> one might get worse. I think the motor is like hitting muck. Where's your pole? Yeah, I mean, look how shallow this is. But it, yeah, it's pretty soft, so it shouldn't hurt anything. Oh, yeah, so it's pretty soft, so when we get stuck, we'll be really stuck. Yeah, we won't be able to push ourselves out. We're trying to. We're bahan through the muck right now. <laughs> look at that. <this. laughs> <laughs> Here, maybe I can, maybe I can help out. Oh, it just sinks right in. Yeah, there's no, there's no solid ground there. It's kind of a long ways to go. Yeah, we're not. I'm all right. I'm just pushing. Abandon, the abandon this plan. There is a path there. If you had a canoe or something, you'd get through there. Maybe yeah. not your boat. No. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna yeah, hang a hard right. Yep, I'm gonna hit some crap here. So we learned here, if you want to go to that north lake, get a really small boat. Or unless Herbie. there's a north landing. Is there another landing up there? I don't, I didn't think, I didn't see one on the maps. They said there's two landings. One should be over there and one the one we did. But looking at Google Maps, it looked like it was just somebody's driveway. So I didn't want to go there either. <laughs> We've done that too many times. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. You missed him? I think he went after my bobber. He went after your bobber, whatever it was. <laughs> I think our first sign of a game fish in here. I jerked it too. Oh, like got I got him. Oh, catch geez. it with my bobber. <laughs> Look, Look at that. that guy. Another pig like you caught, that yeah. orange one. Isn't that a beauty? Look at that. God. Oh. Every one of them's a pig. <laughs> Not get so skunked like we did last time over there. Well. Holy oh, crap, what was oh, that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, what was it? I don't know. Was it a northern? I don't know what it was. It went for my bobber again, though. <laughs> Eat my bobber. <laughs> Should that be our new uh, slogan we put on the side of our boat? Yeah. Eat my bobber. Oh, I got him. All right. I was checking Google Maps. The north landing here looked like it just went through some trees in somebody's house. But it looks like there actually is a landing here, so we're going to jump out and get a better look at this one. If we can in, Reggie would quit catching fish, I'll get up there, but it's, uh, it's right there down a dirt road, it looks like. Right next to somebody's house. I'm not sure if there's any parking there. So I don't fall in. So here we go. You're recording yourself. So I am I'm recording it. <laughs> Alright, here's the dock. Here's the landing. It's a pretty, pretty sad landing. Looks like it does have concrete, but it's... Not in the best shape. It's all broken off on one side. It's got like two docks pieced together. There is a science here, so it is a public landing. And I'm guessing you just have to park right, right here on the side of the road. Well, no parking between signs, so must have to park up this way. Yeah, just some houses and a lonely dog. There you go, public access. And that says dead end, so it ain't going any further. There it is. Sort of fish jump. So, uh, wow. There's one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. And a nice bluegill. Right here we're looking down that little finger and it's only it's bouncing around from like two feet to four feet. I don't think it's real deep in here, but Reggie just caught two of them. See here's the the entrance right there, you just come in. It's just a long skinny finger. So I'll zoom in down a little bit more. Till now. Oh I had one. Oh I still got him. Oh good. <laughs> oh, I just had him. Oh <laughs> just bit me off. <laughs> that was my favorite bait. <laughs> Just clean bit me off. Reggie caught another perch. <laughs> We're just like, no, there's nothing back here. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh, there's a bait. Go get it. Probably got in the lake around four, so we've been fishing about three hours. It's been pretty much non stop the whole time. It's very thin. Paper like thin. Nothing to him. <laughs> All right, ready. Oh! Oh, 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 we got oh. him. <laughs> Actually, it feels like a decent one. Oh, where is he? Come here. Uh, yes, I we did one. it. <laughs> Finally. Oh, you do exist. Are you off? No. Huh? Come on. Oh. All right, finally, finally, yeah, 20, 23 and a half. Well, it's bigger than a new one catch, too. Yeah. All right, go away. <laughs> oh, now I'm slimy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I just turned around to pull it out of the water. Crappie got her. Crappie got it. All right, it's almost time to go in, so we thought we'd check out the deepest part of the lake we could find. Right there, it's, it's about eight feet deep. I'm almost thinking, let's throw my thing out and just troll this back to the landing and see oh, if yeah. I catch one. You're almost thinking that? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm thinking it now. <laughs> it's a full thought. <laughs> well, it's nice you let me know what you're almost thinking. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you'd finish that thought. I gotta say, I really enjoyed fishing White Ash Lake. Has some really big bluegills, some decent crappies, and a couple little perch in here. And you saw we did catch a northern. Um, I don't know what ate Reggie's bobber, but he had two fish eat his bobber, so I'm guessing they were bass. So they're probably in here. We didn't see any bass other than that. Yep, I was gonna say, we're probably gonna start. Oh, I got a fish on. Yeah. I think a bass. Here it is. It's official. <laughs> we got the bass. <laughs> Just about made it back to the landing and we got you. Knew it would pay off. There we go. They're bass in this lake. But uh, we're not too far from Balsam Lake. And Balsam Lake is the very first lake that Reggie and I filmed for Go Midwest Fishing. So. I'm going to put that video right up here. You can check that one out and see how it compares to this or one of our last videos we just made. All right, Aaron, we'll see you on the next lake.